Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. What you're about to see is the first of a series of my experiences while touring China for three months last year in 2016. As you can see in my garden behind me, I grow a lot of staghorn ferns, and my goal was to visit botanical gardens in Asia where a lot of the staghorn ferns come from. I've visited about 25 different cities in China and Thailand, and it's very interesting stories to share in each of these cities. This first video is my travels to Beijing, th through Beijing on into Xi'an, China, where I spent three weeks there. To begin with, I flew out of uh, Los Angeles, had a layover in Vancouver, and took Air Canada all the way to Beijing, which was about a total of $600 for the round-trip flight. In Beijing, I got the high-speed train that goes to Xi'an. It's a marvelous train. It goes about 300 kilometers per hour, or just under 200 miles per hour. It is so smooth that you don't feel it start, you don't feel it stop. The only thing you ever notice is when you pass a head-on train, you get a winch vibration. Xi'an is about a thousand kilometers south and west of Beijing. It takes about 11 hours and 17 minutes for the high-speed train. Xi'an is one of the older cities in China, dating back maybe 6,000 years. Uh, it's the beginning of the Silk Road that Marco Polo made famous. Perhaps the most attractive uh, thing in Xi'an is the city wall that uh, surrounds uh, about a square kilometer downtown. The lights that uh, they use in China to uh, highlight things is just absolutely spectacular. Right? You have a hard time finding something at this level in the United States. And oh yes, they do have things like Viagra here. Look at the price on that. Xi'an has recently come to fame because of the terracotta army uh, discovered in about 1956 when a couple of farmers were digging a well and discovered the first uh, terracotta warriors. The terracotta army is a life-size carving of a full army with each soldier having a different personality, there's different officers, there's, there's horses, and it's all been excavated and it's protected under a roof about the size of a football field. I don't think they understand the full meaning of it, but these were carved about the year 2000, the time of Christ, and been buried somehow and just recently discovered here in 1956. Not too far from the Terracotta Warriors is another excavation called Banpo Village where they have discovered graves that are 6,000 years old. 4,000 years before the time of Christ. Another popular tourist destination is the Small Goose Pagoda. I was really impressed with the pagoda in the sense they had these puppeteers inside that uh, did shadow puppets and regular type puppets that uh, very entertaining. Not far away is the big wild goose pagoda. It what really impressed me was the water show they had there that was choreographed to music. <laughs> Oh 
my whole purpose in touring uh, China was to tour botanical gardens. So here we have the Xi'an Botanical Garden. <coughs> Being April, and since it does snow in Xi'an during the winter, uh, this is a place where they have lots of uh, tulips. Uh, the tulips live from bulbs, they survive the cold. And there must have been 200 different types of tulips. And for every tulip, there was at least one wedding party getting her their picture, wedding pictures taken. Well, that pretty well sums up my three weeks in Xi'an. Next, we go to Luang, which is about 400 kilometers back towards Beijing. There, we'll explore the Longmen Grottoes with 2,600 caves. But that's going to be the subject of my next video. If you want to be informed when the next video is released, just click the subscribe button down below and you will be notified. If you don't want to subscribe, but you think this video will be of interest to others, please hit the thumbs up button and that makes it available to other people. Until then, as we say at USC, fight on.